Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. And as you can see, I have brought our raptor over to the green obelisk. And that is because we need to revive the trike that drowned in the last episode. So I have the creature implant here. I'm gonna tap that resurrect button. Now this trike did cost 30 Ancient Amber, which is quite a bit. Yay! Sergio's back. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. I missed this guy. It was a really scary journey over here without him. Yes. Okay. This is perfect. Oh, man. I really love this revival feature. Um, being able to get Sergio back is just, like, amazing. Uh, I'm really excited about it. So I'm gonna make sure that Blendy here is following me. You coming? Sometimes it's hard to aim with the whistles. There we go. Now it's following for sure. Okay. Um, and now I need to make the long trip back to base. So, yeah. I will bring you guys back in a little bit. Um, I think what we're going to do today is tame a dodic, and so to do that we need to get back up where there actually are dodics, and luckily there's um, quite a few up by up by the base, um, by Far's Peak, which I don't know if you can actually see where it is on the map, it's kind of that mountain in the upper right hand corner. Um, that's called Far's Peak. And that's where we are headed back to base, and that is where I am hoping to find and tame a dodic, because we do need a dodic. We need a lot of stone on this map. Um, I'm starting to expand the base and get ready to build a workshop, so we are going to need just tons of stone. Um, and luckily, now we have our trusty trike back, who is our taming buddy. Um, he's the one I always take out, and... Uh, basically use him as a tank to um, carry berries and narcotics and stuff while I'm taming and to stay safe um, and I foolishly let him die in the last episode so we did need to revive him um, but we have him back now all is well so I'm gonna go ahead and get back to base and I will see you guys in a bit Okay, guys, we are back, and as you can see, I have spotted a dodic here. It is level 17, which is not as high a level as I would maybe like to tame, but I have been all over the side of Far's Peak at the moment, and there are not many dodos, uh, dodics to be had, so I think we're going to go with this one. Level 17 isn't terrible. Um, I think it's definitely still going to be worth taming. We are going to have to be... A little bit careful in this area um, it is a little bit scary I want to make sure you are on passive temporarily and we are just gonna hop right into this taming uh, if this dodic is gonna move there we go come here whoop I hit the shell there we go trying to hit it in the head. Obviously, if you hit it in the shell, it doesn't do as much. No, 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 don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall towards things. Oh, did not mean to hit it in the shell. It is a little tricky to aim. Hope he goes down soon. I really... Ooh, don't want to lose this dodic. Oh, he's running. There we go. Shoot him in the butt. I think we hit a shell. And I missed. Man, these guys are hard to hit with, like, the specific regions. Um. There we go. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna run up and get the trike real fast. I really... Whoops. Of course I would use that. Uh, I don't feel safe in this area. No, let me on. Stop punching him. Okay. Okay, there is an hanky down here. But that should be okay. 
There are a couple of Ankies down here. That should be fine. Those aren't a threat. There are Sabertooths and RGs all over, though, and those could be a problem if they wander over this way. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a bunch of Mejo Berries. Um, I did do a whole lot of gathering on the way up here, so hopefully we will have enough to do this. There we go. All right. And I'm also going to place down all these spike walls once again. Just to kind of make sure that the area is as safe as it can possibly be. There is a tree here. Okay. Let me come out this way a little bit. There we go. Yep, there is a scorpion over there, so I'm going to go ahead and just make sure that we have this whole section cordoned off. I only have six spike walls. That should be enough. There we go. Perfect. Just enough room for the trike to be, um, and the dodic should be mostly safe from this side now. Although I think I can still get out up here. I can. But it should be enough to stop anything too big from coming this way. Excellent. All right, so I also, wow, he's taming up really fast. I didn't think they had increased the taming rates this weekend. I didn't get any notifications about a survival surge, but um, I don't think we're going to need anything to uh, keep this guy knocked out. Normally, Dodix on normal arc are a pretty slow tame. No, you don't, RG. No, you don't. Go away. Yeah, you just get on out. No. Really? Go away. Um, yeah. This game has, like, been really frustrating me lately. I've obviously made some silly mistakes with it, but, um, there's also just been a few bugs that have been really annoying to work with lately. Uh, I logged in this morning to find another saber in my base. I was half dead and he had once again killed my mortar and pestle and he had eaten our bed so I had to make a new bed um, and I did lose everything that was in the mortar and pestle which is terrible so I'm actually thinking about cordoning off the base into little rooms to hopefully figure out where exactly that spawn is in that front room and potentially trap whatever spawn happens into one section of the base. Um, I am really nervous about those spawns in my base. I don't like it. Uh, it ruins my day when I log in to find all of my stuff has been destroyed. And it's just making the whole arc experience not as much fun as it should be. So I think they really need to fix that bug, especially since they're supposed to be releasing by the end of the spring, which... Um, I did look it up. Official summer start date here is June 21st, I believe. Um, so there is no official release date yet for Arc Mobile, but um, the 21st is basically a good rule of thumb for about when you should expect to see it. The 21st of June. And um, obviously don't take anything I say for granted. That is not an official word. And on top of that, um, well, Wildcard Studios, the original ARC devs, um, have kind of a reputation for being late with a lot of things, pretty much everything. Um, I have not heard anything like that about Wardrum Studios, but, well, it is ARC, and so I'm not sure how much of that is going to transmit. ARC is a beast of a game, and... It may take them longer than they're thinking to iron out some of these bugs and make it ready for public consumption, but that's all speculation on my part at this point. So it does look like the taming is slowing down now, so I think I will bring you guys back when this dodic is up and ready to go. See you in a bit. All right, guys, so we are back. This Dodic has been tamed. It came out at level 24, which is not terrible. And I am holding the torch right now because it's pretty cold, not because I need to see. All right, so I want to check out his stats real quick, or her stats. I believe this is a female. We seem to be taming all female dinos on this series lately. Um, 
which is cool. That's fine. It's just, uh, I keep calling them all he, so I don't know. Anyway, so health, 850. That's not bad. Stamina is good, 510. Weight, 260. That is a little bit low for my liking. Um, we are really cold, so I'm just going to go ahead and break all these walls. And then we will be all set to go down the hill. I did leave the saddle for the Dodic back at the base. I was not sure um, how long it would take to find one or even if I would find one on this particular trip. So to test this Dodic out, I'm gonna have to go back and get the saddle from the house. Okay, and he should be following me. Yes, okay, he will be following me, perfect. So I'm gonna take this guy back to the base. It's just down the hill. Um, but I think I'm gonna bring you guys back when we have the saddle on and we are taking this guy out for a test drive. I'm really excited. This is gonna be super useful for being able to build up the base a little bit and get the resources we need to go do more interesting taming videos. Awesome. So I will see you guys in just a second. Okay, guys, we have our Dodic. Oh, interesting. Apparently, if you swipe up... Oh, he does the roll. Okay. Um, yeah. Interesting. Okay, so if a creature cannot jump, apparently you can get a secondary um, attack on it. In this case, the Dodic will do the roll. So if you swipe up... There we go. It takes it a second to get started, but once it's going, it is going. You still cannot direct the roll, just like in normal arc, but man, this is a fast way to get around. And then if you swipe up again, it does um, undo that. So, jeez, that's really cool. That's a cool feature. Um, apparently this is the first creature we've tamed that has that secondary attack. Oh yes, all of the stone. Oh, that's so nice. We needed all of this stone. Apparently we can't hit that one. We're just gonna like hustle our way over here. Yeah, they've definitely increased movement speed of some of these creatures, like the Dodic and the Anki, um, for this mobile game. And I think that is fantastic. I think it's a really nice feature. These creatures are super slow on the normal game. Um, so on a mobile game, it just makes sense that you would have it be quite a bit quicker than it normally is. Now we should have plenty of weight. I'm gonna level up weight a little bit more. I just want to be able to collect as much stone on each trip as I can. Okay, so a stack of 100 stone weighs 10 on them. And how much does it weigh on us? 40. Okay, so that is a 1 fourth reduction. The weights are a little bit different than they are in PC Arc. But that is okay. Um, I want to go break more rocks. Let's roll over here. Man, that is a really cool... Um, I just can't get over it. I like that there is a secondary attack on this guy. In this case, the roll is nice. Can we hit this rock, please? There we go. Alright, and we are going to be able to get so much stone with this guy. This is already like... Normally it would take me... 20 minutes to collect as much stone as we've collected in about two with this guy. Um, so this Dodic is going to be really handy. In the next few episodes, you should expect to see that base be expanded on and grown up quite a bit. Um, I'm going to get just enough to fill us up here. want to make sure we have as many of these resources as possible. Um, I do need to especially work on expanding our little, whoops, that dismount feature. We have so much stone now. Ugh. It's great. It's fantastic. All right. So, um, I did want to show you guys this. Someone has built their base up right next to mine, which I actually think is a little bit rude. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you guys have a different experience, but in PvE, when I play, I try not to build this close to anybody's base, and this person has built up a large chunk of the beach here. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
I'm not super happy about that. I do think I need to stake out my territory pretty quickly here. They've done it with just spike walls, but I'm going to do it with behemoth stone gates, especially now that we have this dodic to gather up as much stone as we possibly can. Um, yeah, let me see. That looks so cool. Awesome. Yes, and we can roll. I am not going to roll into the water. That would be bad. Cool. So, actually, I think that is about going to do it for this episode, guys. Um, no, it was a short one, but we did accomplish a few things. We got Sergio back um, by reviving him at the Green Obelisk, which was awesome. We now have our beautiful little Dodic friend who is quite speedy. And actually, even though he's not like max level, he is pretty amazing. Um, this is going to be super useful, man. I just can't get over the roll. I really like the roll. Especially on Arc Mobile. It's actually not that clunky to use that roll feature. Spence, we don't have a jump. All right. Cool. Okay, so, yep, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you're looking forward to seeing the base expand a little bit, get a little bit bigger. I certainly am. It's been pretty cramped quarters in there with all five of our dinos now. Um, four as of the Sarko and then five as of this guy. Well, that reminds me. We're going to do this real quick. Um... We need to name this Dodic. All right, so I have a list of name suggestions from viewers, and one of the ones that's been requested a couple of times now, so it's kind of at the top of the list, is Roger. So this is Roger the female Dodic. Um, yeah, I like it. Roger's pretty great. I'm gonna level her up here. Oh, oh, they do the roll still. That's so cute. Okay. I really like Roger. Roger's our new friend. Um, and I also want to run over here and name the alligator, who we had a specific name request for. Luckily, this guy's pretty quick, so it won't take me long to get in here. As you can see, yeah, it is getting pretty crowded in this area. Um, the Sarko especially takes up just a ton of room. So I'm really looking forward to getting up enough resources to be able to expand our area here and then kind of build our base up and back and really, really get a little bit of room to just move around, really. All right, so the Sarko, uh, we are going to name this guy. Let's see if it'll all fit. Al the Alligator. That was a specific name request. I wonder if I spelled alligator right. I feel like there's two L's. That's okay. All right, so that's Al the alligator. Uh, we have Sergio, the trike, Roger, the dodic, Kaznexu, the Anki, and then of course we have Blendy the raptor over here who has been an amazing friend and is very quick and has been very helpful in basically just quick transport and scouting missions around the area. I know you guys haven't seen much of Blendy since we tamed her, but uh, she's actually been quite useful to me off cam. Okay, so that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I hope you liked um, the content today. If you did, please do remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you have not already and you wanna see more things like this. Um, yeah, that's gonna do it. Signing off, this is the Iguana. I will catch you guys in the next one.